just miss another rockfish in this hole. So I pretty much brought up the rest of my rods. Officially going for rockfish now, only using one rod. You can use up to two hooks, so I'm only going to use one hook. I'm going to use a jig head. I'm going to target any holes that these fish, any structure that these rockfish might be hiding in. I just missed one right now, had a bite, and ran off with it. There's another one. Yep. Yeah, so I left my bat ray and leopard shark rods out in the water for nearly two hours. The bait's still completely there. And pretty much it's been slow on that aspect of fishing, or that part of fishing. So I'm trying to switch it up now. I've already got one nice grass rockfish that I'm taking home on my stringer. I'm going to continue targeting all my spots until I'll probably have at least like four hours until it's time to go. So hopefully I can pull together a nice little bag or at least like a nice little limit of these rockfish and possibly some eel. This hole's very deep though and it feels pretty good. Hopefully there's more down here. Just got a fish on right now. Another baby cabazone. Oh. Quick release. Anyways, I'm using 12 pound test on this rod. I'm pretty sure that was most likely a cabazone that I lost since their teeth are a lot sharper than the other rock fishes that live here. So I'm gonna drop back in here. Hopefully that fish hasn't left yet. Oh, he's got it. He's got, oh, no. Oh! Oh! I hooked that too. <laughs> There's a good amount of fish in this hole right here. And they all feel a pretty decent size too. Alright, I'm in the hole. See how long it takes. Oh, feels like I got an eel. Feels like I've got an eel. Or a crab. Probably a crab. baited the hook right now.
That's definitely one of the small fish that's in there. Oh, and he just ripped all my bait off. Oh no, he just threw up a bunch of bait. Never mind. Right. You're getting bigger soon. I know your parents in there. Your mother has to be in there. Oh, squid. Squid is key. <laughs> Get bigger. Come on, where's the bigger fish at? Oh, here we go. Damn it. I think that eel or cabazone just got, got me stuck on a rock right now. Perfect. That's a smaller one. Just got bit right now. Or Alright. Come on, big fish. Come on, big fish. Oh. They're getting bigger. Jesus! The line broke on the hook set. Time to upgrade to the bigger pole. Alright guys, I beefed up my setup. I'm using my, or the 10 foot surf rod that I use for bat rays right now with 40 pound mainline. 60 pound leader, uh, 4 octopus hook, top of a squid, 4 ounce weight, Let's get this big ass fish. Hopefully my my other fish is still attached to the rope over there where I left them. Oh. I'm getting some bites. We are getting some bites. Jesus. Whatever this is, this is major, man.
Oh my lord. All right. Made slight adjustments. Adjustments. Uh, increase the leader length on the hook. That way the fish can run with it better and actually get hooked better. And because the hook was pretty much laying practically right on top of the weight and the weight would be moving around while the fish is trying to get hooked on and buttoning it. So I really hope we can get it this time. Something really nice in there.